Hello YouTube, the gun out here. Today I'm just going to do a short uh, review or overview of a gun I've had for a while. This is the uh, Ruger Bisley Blackhawk in uh, 44 Magnum. Uh, this particular one is wearing a Leupold M8 two power extended eye relief scope. Bought this gun oh, it was probably over 15 years ago. I don't know the exact date. So I've had this for a while. They still make the Ruger Bisley Blackhawk and they still make it in 44 Magnum in this seven and a half inch uh, barrel configuration. And it's obviously a single action revolver. Many of you are probably familiar with the Blackhawks. The Bisley model has the different uh, style grip grip frame. Uh, like many revolvers it is a six shot single action revolver. It has a non-fluted um, cylinder which some nice uh, decorative uh, engraving or scroll work there. So on the barrel there's some markings there where it basically tells you to look at the owner's manual and um, that was made by Ruger Sturm and Company and I don't know if it was made there but it lists Southport, Connecticut, USA. And then kind of at the bottom here it states that it's a new model Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum, it also states the caliber there. And new model means it has the transfer safety in it so you can safely load six rounds and obviously load those rounds in through the loading gate. And you can see that uh, this gun is empty. Um, so in addition to the scope I also had some trigger work done on this. Um, back shortly after I got it because the trigger I did not like the factory trigger it was very gritty and somewhat stiff I do not have a trigger pull gauge but this is a light trigger so you, once you cock it you know you really need to make sure that uh, you're ready to shoot philosophy of use why I originally bought this gun and I'll have to give nothing fancy credit for the term philosophy of use was to use as a hunting handgun for hunting white-tailed deer I had bought it when I lived in Michigan, in the lower Michigan area, and I think lower Michigan, I'm not sure if it's still that way, was shotgun only, but you could use straight wild handgun cartridges, which is why I bought this. Well, I never ended up using it for white-tailed deer hunting in Michigan. This gun has spent a lot of time in the safe, unfortunately. Uh, I do use it at the range and play around with it, develop hand loads for it. Um, I think if I was to go buy a single action today, my philosophy of use would be more to have kind of as a general purpose woods gun and I would buy a shorter length barrel. Um, 44 Magnum caliber I think would still be a good caliber or maybe 45 Colt but uh, I, I would probably go with a five and a half inch barrel or possibly even shorter than that if, if offered. But uh, overall this is a it's a nice looking gun. find it to be uh, fun to shoot with 44 Special or say medium velocity 44 Magnum loads. Um, it's not too bad because it's a heavy gun. In fact, with the scope this gun weighs, I just weighed it a little while ago, uh, weighs 60.5 ounces. So it is a handful. Um, and I really need to have a, a good rest to, to help steady it when I'm shooting it to try to get accurate. Uh, I think without the scope, I think it's listed around 50 ounces. I don't recall what I paid for the gun itself when I bought it. I want to say it was around 500. I don't think I would have paid more than 500. I see now they list the suggested retail for this Bisley Blackhawk on Ruger's website in, here in March of 2015 as a $825 suggested retail. I also do have a holster for the Bisley Blackhawk. It's a uh, Uncle Mike's sidekick, number four scoped um, in camouflage pattern. I honestly don't think I've ever used it um, out in the woods. And in fact, doing this video helped me remember that I do have something I can carry it in. So I will be uh, having to break it out and give it a try here um, when I get the, that opportunity to go out in the woods with it. So it does fit a 7.5 inch barrel Ruger um, Bisley Blackhawk in that uh, Uncle Mike's holster. Thanks, YouTube. Mm -hmm.